I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and in this video we're taking a detailed look at the Ortlieb Attract Metrosphere, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. The outside of this guy is fairly simple. So this is a PU coated nylon fabric and it's PVC free and overall full capacity. This is a 34 liter bag. So um, across all of the materials here or most of the materials here, this is a uh, waterproof bag. So this material on the outside and then this main zippered opening is waterproof as well. So um, this, you can tell it's the way that it locks in. It's a like tie zip zipper and it has a sort of like, I'm just gonna, show you it's a little bit difficult to open because of that waterproofness but it like locks into place right here and then that's what makes it so that no water can get in and you can tell because when you have this thing packed out if you start to like squeeze it down and just like really push down on it there's like no air escaping nothing's happening like that um, it is really really locked in so if you're someone who's super adventurous um, this is a really great bag for you um, if you find yourself kind of going off the beaten path and not really sure what kind of weather you're going to get uh, whenever you go exploring. So um, it is, like I said, fairly simple on the outside here. There's not really much going on. There is like a water bottle pocket on this side here. And then over here is a uh, address card pocket. So this is like a, it's kind of like a silicone feeling material and it comes with, it's a little bit hard to get out. Um, let's see if I can get this. Yeah, there it is. So it comes with a little address card you can see you can put your own information in there um, and this they say is waterproof as well so um, you know again if you start getting a little bit more adventurous or if you find yourself in those kinds of situations then this is a really great bag for that um, the whole bag itself like this pocket over here is not waterproof so that's something to keep in mind but this main compartment is ip67 rated so with that zipper um, on the other side here, you know, you do have that waterproof ability if that's something that's really interesting to you. The harness system, I think, is the more interesting part about this bag. So this is their more like everyday sort of travel, like metro sphere, metro kind of like a city style, but they do have some more like adventure style packs that have like a beefy hip belt and things like that. But in terms of this backpack here, you can see on the very opposite side, we have this like metal rod essentially that acts as like the anchoring point for these shoulder straps. And this gives you adjustability. So you can see down here, we have a little buckle that you can give it some extra slack. And that means that you can push that little um, panel a little bit up and it does give you sort of like size measurements. So right now it's technically, I believe at like the XL, you can't really see it, but it's on the under, underside there. And then we have large, medium and small. I did find that you couldn't really get it to that small. It was like this little buckle here would start to kind of clash with everything down at the bottom. And so it just sort of depends. Um, I think, you know, that adjustability is nice. Um, and I found that at the smallest kind of measurement, I guess you could say that it was pretty decent for me. But the, the rest uh, across the board here, we have these um, load lifters up top to help get the weight off. We have a sternum strap on a sliding rail, which is nice and sturdy, doesn't slip out of place. And then this mesh here is pretty airy. It's a little bit stiff, um, but it felt relatively adequate. And then we have a um, hip belt down at the bottom here as well. So this is the pack on me. It's at that smallest adjustment that I'm able to get. So if you have a longer torso, you know, you can play with it a little bit based off of what's comfortable. You can definitely feel those metal rods. It almost creates like a um, really structured back panel. Um, so that's something where if you like that, that's gonna be really great. For me, it takes a little bit of adjusting, a little bit of getting used to. It feels almost like it's kind of forcing my posture into not its natural state, which maybe is not such a bad thing, um, but just takes a little bit of getting used to. The sternum strap and the load lifters help a ton with kind of pulling that weight off of your back, but the hip belt, not so much. It is technically removable, so you can get rid of it if you don't want it. Um, but I, there are some, uh, you know, Ortlieb does have those other options that have a bit 
bit of a beefier hip belt if that's something that you're interested in. Um, but it feels more like it's just kind of keeping you in place more than anything else. Um, so if you can get used to kind of the fit and the feel of this, then that's really the biggest learning curve with this one. So with the outside being so simple, first up we have this uh, little side pocket here. You can see that it has like that aqua guard zipper um, to kind of protect the inside of this pocket. But like I mentioned earlier, this pocket is not waterproof. So if you were, while this is IP67 rated, um, this bag itself, if you were to dunk this and you know submerge it or whatever to kind of test that rating, this pocket here is not going to be included in that. So something to keep in mind. Um, but it is pretty protected against weather. And I don't really think many people find themselves in a situation where they're trying to like dunk their travel bag. So unless you do, in which case, good for you, I guess. But um, with this pocket, it is pretty roomy. So I have my phone in here and then a wallet. Um, it's really great. I like that it's so big because you do like my hands all the way up here and then down here as well. And then about to like the, what is considered, I guess, like the front of this bag. Um, so you do have a good amount of space to really stuff like your everyday items in here, which I like because it is a little bit tough to get into that main compartment. So having something on the outside that's zippered and still really protected, even though it's not waterproof, is still really nice. So um, nice and easy. This is like a, it's almost like a little like rubbery kind of zipper pull, nice and comfortable. Um, everything on this bag feels really sturdy and well made. Um, there's like a little bit of loose threading up here on the shoulder strap, but this seems more like kind of like a manufacturing, just some thread left over than it actually coming apart. So I'm not too worried about that. And then on the other side here, we have a pretty hefty water bottle. So I have, or water bottle pocket. I have a 40 ounce, um, kind of show you what that looks like in there. Um, it feels really sturdy. Like this is really, really locked in, but even with a smaller water bottle, like an 18 ounce or something like that, didn't really feel like it was like too big of a water bottle pocket. You can see it, it sits like, well, I guess with this knot in here, it sits pretty flush against the actual bag itself. Um, if you stick a large bottle in here or just a bottle in general, it can cut into that main compartment a little bit, but not a ton. Um, and that elastic, it, it feels really, really tight and really strong. I just feel like this is a nice, um, nice water bottle pocket, really easy mesh to kind of get whatever hydration you have in there. So this main compartment, I kind of already walked you through this like waterproof zipper here, but essentially this opens up, um, it secures down on either side with a magnetic buckle. See so one there and then one here. So in order to get inside, you just detach that. It's truly just super easy magnetic. And then this straightens the bag out a little bit so that it makes it easier for you to pack. So this zipper pull, really easy to grab onto. It just takes a little bit to get it past that initial little jump area there, but that's what gives it its waterproofness. Oh, and then also it's, uh, it is technically lockable. So there is like a little hook there and then you can hook it through there, obviously when it's zipped all the way up, but that opens up nice and easy once you get it past that initial bit. And then you see this main compartment. So the main thing with this bag is that because this harness system has so many components to it. It's a lot of like plastics and metals and just a lot going on in general. It is pretty heavy. So you do load this thing like a duffel bag. You can see that it has, you know, a pretty wide opening, especially with like these little bits here. If you were to have these, you know, magneted or magneted in on the side there, you know, there's a little bit less visibility. So that is a really nice feature, really thoughtful there. But you can see, even when I just sort of drop that, it is really, really heavy. So on the inside here, we have four zippered pockets. Um, we have uh, one's like, this side's like a little bit bigger than the other side. I do have a toiletry bag inside one of these. So you can kind of put whatever you want in there. Um, like I said, I have toiletries. I've done um, like all of my tech gear, um, little trinkets, things like that. You can do like hats, gloves, anything if you want to separate your gear. So it is nice to have that option. They do just sort of like fall down the side there, but um, they can like fall across the top. So I found that it was a lot easier to just make sure that they were tucked into the sides when you were loading all of your gear in. Um, again, you can see that this is kind of pulling down on the side because of the weight of that uh, harness system. So again, something to keep in mind. So then looking at the rest of the main compartment here, we have this little like buckle system that if you wanted to lock down your gear, you could it's just one in the center. I didn't really find myself using it a ton just because I do have cubes here, but if you don't like using cubes, that's an option. And then I had a cabin weekend. So I have a few like chunkier items in here, a uh, packable bag for hiking hat, and then, you know, just like sweatpants and a sweatshirt. And then what you have left is just like an open area for you to pack. 
There is a key leash on one side here. Um, I kind of wish that this key leash was inside one of these pockets just so that it added a little bit of extra security so my keys weren't like flapping around with all my other stuff in the bag. Um, but that's not a huge deal. Um, and it is still really secure over here. So that was more of like a personal preference thing. And then if you look at this main compartment, you can see that there is like, this is what they call a internal stiffener. And you can see there's like a little slip here and it's like a plastic. I'll bring that up a little bit closer so you can see it. And this follows the shape of the bag. So it's like you can see, just kind of have to push these out of the way. Um, it follows the shape of the bag and it just gives it a little bit of extra structure and it keeps that kind of rounded shape on the outside. What I like about it is that when this thing, like if I were to, you know, just keep this completely empty, zip it shut, it would be filled with air and I wouldn't be able to get the air out. So with this, you can really like, you can pack it as much or as little as you want and just use air almost to like give it the rest of its shape. Some bags get really, really saggy if you don't have them packed out all the way. What's nice about this one is that you can kind of like supplement with just air, but it does have that structure here and the structure makes it easier to when you're actually packing this thing out so that it's not falling over everywhere. But as you just saw, the weight of this harness system does make it a little bit tough. You know, if you just have this, it's hard to just like open this up and leave it open. Um, you almost have to kind of like load things in, adjust, load something else in, adjust it a little bit, and then it falls down again, and then you have to load something in and adjust it. And so it does take a little bit of practice, um, but I think it is a pretty unique solve uh, for a kind of like duffel backpack combination. So there you have it, the Ortlieb Attract Metrosphere. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.